Catherine Cronin, an open educator and researcher at NUI Galway in Ireland. When speaking with other open practitioners like Vivian Rolfe, with whom I'm collaborating for the ALT conference next week, we tend to have conversations based on a shared set of assumptions and values. You could say that we live in the same metaphorical land where people share their work, their ideas, their thinking, their creativity openly. Uh, some of us also share um, or practice open pedagogy and use open educational practices in our teaching. So therefore encouraging our students to understand open practices and to develop, to develop the skills and literacies to flourish uh, in a networked and open world. Hi, my name's Vivian Rolf. I'm collaborating with Catherine Cronin at this year's ALT, which is great fun. I met Catherine last year at the Society of Research in Higher Education conference in an open practice stream at the conference and when we were there, we, we got thinking about not just our own practice, but how we can help influence the practice of others. And I, I think what seems to have happened in the UK is we've had the investment from the UK Open Education Resource Programme. We've seen a whole scattering now of amazing projects and activities. And we've, we've watched over the years open education practices become embedded with institutions. But I think unless we have a bit of a rethink unless we start to think about how we can maintain those practices and actually sustain what we've started, my personal fear is open education is going to stall. One common dilemma, however, for open educators is how can I help to change practice at my institution? Uh, many people feel that their own research, learning and teaching practices are open, um, but their institutions are not there yet, so they kind of live in two worlds. We know there's often a progression in open practice. People use OER before they create OER, and oftentimes there's an awakening process that goes with that, something along the lines of, you know, hey, I've benefited so much from people sharing their open resources with me, I should share my own work in the Commons. That's really how it all works. So at alt -C this year, Vivian Rolfe and myself will collaborate, and instead of doing a presentation, we've decided simply to create an open resource about openness, um, a wiki for fellow educators. So I very much sympathise with what Catherine said there, and I find myself currently in an institution where there is no policy for open education and there is not a great deal of open practice. So what about those people they want to find out more and want to engage and that's very much the purpose behind this wiki to to provide a a space for people to share those materials and have those conversations um, and i think for purposes of you know sustaining our our base the things that we've created i think um to me one one of the easy options for sustaining is to keep grabbing those materials that are out there and to pop them somewhere else. And there are so many resources out there we know, um, so we've collected just some of the ones that we have found most useful. And the aim of the wiki is we hope that it would be useful for different groups of people. Firstly, anyone wanting to find out more about open education, open educational resources, OER, open educational practices, OEP, uh, what are they, why should I care? Um, secondly, anyone who's using OER but might like to think about going to the next level um, of open practice, so producing OER, um, developing their open educational practices. And thirdly, the wiki will be for anyone who considers themselves an open practitioner, um, but possibly the odd one out in their school or institution. So how might we support one another as open practitioners as we individually and collectively um, contribute to institutional and cultural change towards openness. All right, one postscript. Uh, there's, there is something that we're going to be adding to the wiki. There is a danger among open practitioners that open is always good. Um, and 
there's a risk that we lose the ability to see openness as something complex and contextual. Yes, there are critiques of open education that are based on narrow conceptions, conflating open education with OER, for example. We can engage with these, we can have discussions, which are helpful. But there are further insightful critiques of openness with, with which we believe we must engage. Um, and these include asking ourselves questions like, um, what tools am I using to create, share, and interact in open spaces? Who owns these tools? Who owns my data? Who owns my students' data? How does power operate uh, in open learning spaces? What are the ethics of asking others, particularly my students, to share open? Yes, I also agree with what Catherine said there, and I, I think it's really a great time to cast a, a more critical eye and push back the boundaries of, of what we think openness is all about. And, and to me, the, the way I've approached that is thinking about the ethics of operating online. What does that mean? Um, We think that all of these questions are important and it's essential to think through them and to have a critical approach to openness. So we're exploring how to include this also in the wiki uh, that we're developing. We welcome your feedback. Uh, and for those of you who will be at ALT next week, See you in Manchester. Thank you.